Hey, good morning, it's Mr. Max again. So here I have the Lexus that I was working on. It's already painted, let's see here. I did a little on the, on the bumper to blend on the fender. See the front and rear door, the gap, the space, everything is there. The trunk, I didn't touch the trunk. Alright, so I have to paint the roof. So, over here you see how oh, I have the tape. I have the tape roll back you know when it comes to this area on most cars this is how I do my taping so I don't create no line when I remove this this tape I don't even if there is a little slight thing when you rub you you compound that area everything will feel smooth again so you don't see no you don't create no edge if you were to to put the tape like uh, let me show uh, show what I'm talking about when you put the tape on like like for instance this let's say you put the tape See, this air will create a line if you tape that like that here. But to avoid creating a line, what I do, right, you know, I, I would put the tape on. Uh, let me open this door so I can show you guys exactly what it is. Hold on. All right, so now you can see better what I'm talking about. So you see, you put your tape. I use the two-inch tape. Put it over here with some of it coming out, like maybe about a, could be a centimeter, whatever it is. But then you just roll this back. So when I remove that, I don't, I don't have no paint line here. No paint line, you know? No paint line. If I was to do it like this, on the edge or even in a little bit I'm gonna have a paint line here if I do it like this but from doing a uh, painting for for a while this is the way how I tackle these this area on course if I'm gonna if I have to paint the this this hair and I don't want clay to go inside in this area then I just do this like that and I remove that you don't have no nothing nothing none whatsoever nothing you don't see no line if there is any little thing when you you, you use the compound by hand rub that it will feel smooth again All right, so that's how I do when I'm so I did the same thing here. The day before I painted the door jams. Let me open the rear door. Yeah, so the day before I did paint the this part the inside. And and uh, so I clear coat the inside here but I didn't clear coat the quarter panel and the reason why I did that because this color is a tri coat so I didn't want to have mitch match if I paint this the quarter before and then next thing the following day I do the the door I don't want I didn't want to have shade difference so I say, you know what, let me do paint the, the jam first. Did that. Then I put my tape like I did on the 
you know, put your tape, you skin that back a little bit. And that's all I do so I don't create no line. No line in the... So when I remove this, there will be no line. You know, you don't feel no... If there is any little roughness with a little compound, you compound that and that's it. You don't see no tape line. All right? So that's how I... Uh, do what I do, all right? So, yeah, I'm gonna put this car together and put that together and get this car ready the coming week. So, all right, so uh, that's it for this one here, let's see here, that's the handle for the front door. The rear door is good, so I don't need to paint that. All right. The, the bumper has a little issue here, but that's not what I had to deal with. I'm just, that's what uh, was in the job. So I just did that for you know, sometimes you see a few little things and you want to make the customer happy, so you take care of some issues. All right? All right, so that's it, all right? See you guys for the next one. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe, share, and uh, uh, ask questions, okay? All right, then. See you on, for the next one.